Hey, this is Andrew Brown, your AWS Community Hero, and here I'm answering a question that has been asked so many times, it's wearing out my fingers typing the answer, and so I decided to make a video, and that's whether or not to skip the Certified Cloud Practitioner. Now, there's a, a small minority here on Reddit that say that you should skip it, that it's a waste of time, that employers don't care about it, and that you should go straight to the Solution Architect Associate because that content is already covered, and I strongly disagree with that small minority that is highly vocal here because the majority of content creators out there agree with me that you should not skip the certification. Now, let's make our way over to the certification track here and here we can see we have a bunch of different uh, levels and originally this was a ladder in order to take a pro you had to take an associate and take a specialty you had to have a pro or associate I don't remember but it's all wide open now and if you want to go after the solution architect professional on day one you totally can but people still work their way up and they start with the solution architect or sorry this uh, certified cloud practitioner and the reason why is is uh, a multitude of reasons the first one is is that it's going to ensure that you're easing your into the journey that you, you're figuring out what your baseline is in terms of your skill set and you're going to avoid the chance of failing at the associate level because the difficulty jumps from 10 times. So the associate is 10 times harder than the foundational, the professional is 10 times harder than the associate, and the specialty is uh, three to seven times harder based on the cert from the associate level. And so I, what I don't want to happen to you is that you take an associate level and you uh, overextend your study time. So you spend way too much time studying and then you fail, lose that $150 and you have to go again. If you're gonna fail, I hope that you failed the CCP. Uh, very rarely do, do, do people fail at the CCP, but the point is, is that it gets you really comfortable uh, having that baseline that you need to have. Now, the CCP actually contains information that is not found in any other certification. And the reason I know this is that I've had colleagues that were uh, professionals, they worked in the industry for many years, they had their pro certifications and some specialties, and they decided to go after their CCP, just to increase their uh, certification count, and to see if there was any information that was missing uh, in their day-to-day -day, uh, uh, careers. And they found out that there actually was information missing. So uh, like AWS Inspector, AWS Artifact, Service Catalog, they said they had never heard of these services, never used them. And then they realized that, wow, they, there was information here, there was value here. And another thing was that there was a lot of billing information at the business level, which is just not covered anywhere else. And especially no longer, uh, for the Solution Architect Associate because since they updated the exam from the SAA CO1 to the SSA CO2, a lot of that billing information is now really unique to this certification. So this one has always been for uh, people that are non-technical and also people that are at the executive level that have to make business decisions. So that's why there's a lot of security and billing information in the certification. And if you're going after a non-technical role or you're going after like a role like TAM where you're, you're interacting with customers, you definitely want to have that CCP to really round out your knowledge. This course only costs $100. If you do pass it, uh, and you highly likely will pass it, uh, you'll get half off your next exam, which is associate level. So this one costs $150. And so this would be 100. Now this would only be $75, so you're paying 175. If you did full, uh, both of them would be 250. So you're saving $75. If you can spare the $75, please, please take the certified cloud practitioner. If you don't have $100 to spare on this, um, uh, and you and you just you just want to get certified. You can skip the exam, but don't skip the content. There's so much free content out here, and it should only take you four to five days of, of rigorous study to get through that content. I have a free course on free code camp. I'm even updating it at the end, end of the year, so it'll say like 2021. I'll probably release it in November or December. I already have the updated version here, um, and I'll probably even have more additional content uh, if you want to pay for it. It's $21, but I'm telling you, I'm all about free, so use the free content. I have it here. You can definitely pass with this one. And there's other free providers that are uh, providing that course material. So just work your way through it. If you want to simulate the, the practice exam, AWS has practice exam questions. They have, it looks like 10 here. Um, and then also, or is it 20? No, it's just 10, 10 here and they have the answers. And you could cobble together from other competitors. Like I think John Bonzo has some free questions. Neil Davis has some free questions. Um, and so you can uh, put together your own kind of uh, free practice exam and simulate it so that you are more prepared for the Solution Architect Associate if you are strapped for cash, all right? Um, so that is another reason uh, that I, I tell you to not to skip it. So hopefully that's convinced you as to why the CCP is important. And whoever you use, doesn't matter who, whether it's me, whether it's John Bonzo, whether it's uh, uh, Stefan, whether it's Neil Davis, whether it's Bart Castles, 
uh, whether you use um, the free AWS learning content and you and you just uh, work through the documentation yourself, or you take AWS certification challenge, which is like a global challenge where they have video training. Uh, there's a lot of options out there, but again, it's like you're really going to skip like four or five days of study, just, uh, uh, and you're going to really risk your chance of failing and increasing your study time. It makes no sense. So um, you know. Uh, I recommend that you go take the CCP. And again, if you're going for TAM roles, and this is what this person's asking for, they're saying TAM and non-technical roles, you don't want to skip the certification, especially for this person here, all right? So there you go.